sweet little kitty. Don't touch it. Phew, we are safe now. From whom? From the harmful chemicals of the bombardier beetle. You were about to touch. A phenomenon I'll explain to you all by answering an acidic question. How does the bombardier beetle spray acid? Zoom in! With over 500 species, the bombardier beetle is a type of brown beetle that is usually brown or black and ranges in size from 5 to 30 millimeters. But what is common in all of them is their unique ability to create chemical bombs within their bodies, producing a boiling, stinky spray that is also the source of their name, Bombardier Beetles. They can spray their chemical in different ways, from slow releases to quick bursts, hot enough to even burn and stain human skin. One of the most famous victims of their acidic attack is the world-renowned biologist Charles Darwin. He reported that one day, while reaching for another specimen in the field, he unknowingly placed a bombardier beetle within his teeth. The beetle then fired its acid into his mouth, making for an unforgettable encounter. Fortunately, bombardier beetles generally stay away from humans and typically only use their defense mechanism when they feel threatened or are attacked by predators. Their spray can irritate the eyes and respiratory system of predators, causing painful but temporary effects. But the vital question is, how do they do it? Well, the secret lies in their abdomen, where an ingenious yet simple mechanism is at work. It consists of finger-like lobes containing chemical-producing cells that create hydrogen peroxide and hydroquinine. These lobes are connected to ducts that move the two chemicals into reservoirs where they are stored separately until needed. The reservoirs lead to a reaction chamber separated by valves and finally to a turret-like exit point that can rotate in different directions. Now when a predator attacks the beetle, the beetle's muscles squeeze the reservoirs, pushing the chemicals into the reaction chamber. In the reaction chamber, the chemicals mix with enzymes called catalysts and peroxiders causing a rapid and explosive reaction with a loud pop that stuns the attacker. In a fraction of a second, Catalyst breaks down hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen, releasing energy that generates significant heat, bringing the temperature up to nearly 100 degrees Celsius. At the same time, peroxidase catalyzes the conversion of hydroquinin into benzocunin, a compound that is both irritating and foul-smelling. This reaction generates enough heat and pressure, forcing the hot, noxious spray out through the turret-like exit point. The beetle can aim this turret precisely at its attacker, hitting the predator with a boiling, smelly and irritating blast that makes it think twice about bothering the beetle again. I know you might be wondering why the bombardier beetle doesn't get hurt by its own boiling spray. That's because the beetle ejects the fluid in a rapid series of pulses up to 500 times per second. This pulsing action helps prevent the beetle's abdomen from overheating, protecting it from its own defensive weapon. Genius, isn't it? So the next time you see a small beetle, remember that even the tiniest creatures can have the most extraordinary abilities that must be admired from a safe distance. Trivia time! Did you know the beetle's turret-like nozzle can rotate almost 270 degrees? Yes, it allows it to accurately aim its spray at attackers from various angles. 
sketching time. Today's sketch of the day goes to Rena Kukreja. Hope you learnt something amazing today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs> you. That's Kitty's chemical attack. <laughs> Never mind.